Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I am going to share with you what is inside of my pencil case. Now, I have talked about this little pencil case several times and it made my favorites for October. This is an amazing pencil case. I have been using it since I purchased it. I want to say um, two months ago, I think by now, time is just getting away from me. And this is the Home Cube and I got this off of Amazon for roughly $8.95. They had probably five different colors. They had it in blue, pink, I want to say gray, black, and there was one more color I can't ever remember. I think it was maybe a minty green. So this is the perfect pencil case for me. I have had several of the cosmetic cases to where you zip open the top and you have to pull and you can't figure out what's going on inside of the pencil case. You don't know what you have available in the pencil case. So I was looking for something that I could use that could lay flat when I opened it. So I searched for a good amount of time and I found this case here and it fits the bill perfectly. So I am going to share with you today what I have been carrying inside of this case and excuse my camera for going in and out. So, let me just give you a little look at it first. So, it's black and then it's got tan detailing. And it's got some gray. The zipper is gray. The bottom on every single case is tan, like a tannish color. And it is made of a very good canvas material. It's a very strong canvas material. So, this is not a cheaply made case at all. So, it's got two zippers that you can use and it opens to lay flat. So when I open it up, I can see every single thing that I have available inside of this case. And it has a little flap here. So I'm going to share with you what I keep inside of this little case. So this is gonna be a really quick video, I feel like. So on the left here, you've got two compartments. You've got a little zippered mesh compartment up here. And y'all, this pocket is pretty small. So what I keep inside of it are some small little post-it notes. And these are the post-it note brand. And I use these to write down videos ahead of time. So I don't like to put stickers in my planner if it's too far ahead because y'all i'm telling you my video topics change i've had one video topic that has changed for two months i keep moving it back and i finally recorded it so that's why until i get to a week or close to that week i like to use a sticky note to identify a video topic so i could fit a few more things up here i just don't so that's what i keep up here then down here in this pocket here I just keep two sets of sticky notes. So this is from a Libby & Co. mystery kit. And then this is from a Planner Society box many, probably two years ago. So both of these fit perfectly inside of this little Velcroed closured little compartment here. So that is all that I keep on this left side. Now this middle flap I don't keep a lot on this middle flap because I don't want to have to pull out a pen that I use frequently and then have to hassle with trying to get it back inside of these little elastic bands. So I just keep two of my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point permanent markers here. I use those on my Libyan Co. stickers. So these are not pens that I pull out every single day to use. I may use them when I do a planner spread with Libby & Co. type of stickers, but my daily to-dos are done not with one of these. So that's why I have those here because I don't pull them out every single day. Now inside here is the main compartment. So this compartment is, let me pull everything out. This main compartment can be one compartment if you lay the little flap down so it's got this little flap at the very top here or you can open it up to make a little pocket 
at the top. So I have been using it as the little pocket. And inside of that pocket, I just keep a thing of chapstick. Y'all, I keep chapstick all over the place because it seems like it gets lost. Like pins, they get little legs and they walk off. So probably in about every single pouch, I'm going to have some chapstick. So then I have my little mini Bic Whiteout Runner because I'm using this every single day. And it fits nicely in that little pocket. And then last but not least, I just keep a flash drive because you never know when you're going to need a flash drive. I've learned, especially since I'm a keyboarding teacher, at any moment I could need a flash drive. So those little three, those three things there fit nicely inside of the top little pocket. And then down here is where I keep all of my pens, highlighters, and scissors. So I keep these scissors. These are my go-to scissors for everything. I absolutely love these. These are the Cutter B scissors. I purchased them from Amazon. I will leave a link to everything that I can find below. These are extremely sharp, hence the reason why they come with a cap. I recommend if you get these scissors that you keep the cap on them because look how sharp the tip of this scissor is. I mean, very sharp. Make sure you do not let your kids use these scissors. My kids do not get to use these scissors. So I keep the cap on these scissors at all times. I've had these scissors for two years now, and I still love them as much as the day I purchased them. They go everywhere with me. Then I keep two highlighters in here. And y'all, it really, the color of highlighter that I have in here, it varies depending on the color spread that I use a week. That week, if I use a pink base spread, then I'll probably have a pink highlighter in here. So I always have two in here because I have realized that highlighters, they run out and they dry out very quickly. So I usually keep two in here at any moment. These are the, this one is the, the green one is the Target brand. And then the purple is the Sharpie brand. And y'all, I don't prefer one brand over another. Then I always have just a regular Sharpie permanent marker, not the fine point, because I sell things a lot on the internet and I usually need to write fragile on the side of a box. And sometimes I forget to do that before I leave the house. So I like to keep one in here in case I need to mark on the side of a box. And then I like to keep just two fun pen colors in here. So I've got a blue. These are my absolute favorite pens, you guys. The Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pens. I have a purple one and I have a blue one. And these usually stay in here every single week. Then I keep just two of my black Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pens. And it looks like one of these is about to run out. These are my go-to pens. I love them. They're my absolute favorite. So I keep those in here. Then I just have two extra pens, usually at any time. Right now I have a Focus Bank pen, and then I have a Pilot G2, which if I'm guessing, that's probably my husband's pen that somehow wound up in here because those are his favorite pens. And you guys, that is what I keep in my pencil case every single day. So I usually try to go through it about every week or two to clean out items that are in here because it's just like your purse. Things accumulate, extra pens, extra highlighters, and I like to keep it nice and clean so I can get to what I need at any given moment. So that is all, you guys, for this short video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what I keep inside of my home cube. And I don't think I mentioned that. This is the home cube. The home cube from Amazon. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing everything that I carry with me in a day on a daily basis inside of my pencil case. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys. Thank you.